We are popping up in here, up in here at 10.30. It's time for some celebrity dish, and you are in for a treat because Monique Samuels, host of the Good Morning Show, is in the building. Welcome. Yes. It's so long. It has been. Well, catch us up. It's nice to meet you, too. Catch us up on what's been happening. Oh, my God. The Good Morning Show, we're coming up on our second anniversary. I cannot believe it. Yes. Our morning show has taken over. Our listeners are incredible. I just, like, literally ran in the door from being on air. Uh-huh. And then I'm I'm working on a book. I have me leave essentials still. We have a Valentine's Day sale going on. My babies are just getting bigger. Yeah, We've been traveling. So like there's so much. And I'm single now. Well, you know what? You're bringing so much light. You're, you're just radiating. So yeah. all that you're doing is working for your good. Listen, you know? I'm happy. I yeah. feel really good. Right. You know, ups and downs, the whole spiritual journey ain't no joke. Uh -huh. you know, it but is just, a journey. Yeah, it is. It is. And it still is. And um, just showing myself some love. Loving me, putting me first, and allowing my children to see what self-love really looks like. Nothing wrong with yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Oh. So oh. That's a whole good. word. That's oh, a whole yeah. word Let me tell myself. you, it's not easy, yeah. but it's necessary. Okay. Yeah. Well, thanks for being here for Celebrity. I you know you'll also be on the Lion Lunch Hour yes, at 11 as well. So yes, we're going to get her all day. Yes, yes, her all I'm day. here to stay. <laughs> all right, well, we got to get you on uh, another Monique, your opinion uh -oh. on her, because we are back in Club Shay Shay. Mm. Apparently, Shannon's latest guest took a page from the Cat Williams playbook. So we want to bring in producer Chris. And, uh, let's just jump right in. Yeah, and apparently that playbook is going scorched earth on everyone in Hollywood. Monique did not hold back. She opened up about the drama surrounding her relationship with everyone from Lee Daniels to Tyler Perry, Tiffany Haddish, and Oprah Winfrey. Take a look. Oprah Winfrey to Tyler Perry, Lee Daniels. Now, Lee Daniels was the only one I had to deal with. Did you see Lee Daniels apologize? Mm -hmm. He walked out on he that stage. stage. Not only did he apologize on stage, <clears throat> that man apologized to our children. He's the only one I had to deal with. However, it became a problem with Oprah Winfrey and Tyler Perry that I wouldn't do something and work for free. Now, when you say, well, maybe Oprah feels like she came through it, why can't you? Right. Well, there's a story with Oprah Winfrey when she was on the show, people are talking. Richard Sher was making $55,000. She was making $22,000. These are her words. It was her co-host. She said, I had to leave because they wasn't paying me fairly. Now you see a black woman who did nothing wrong and you're in the midst of this situation because she called me, Tyler Perry called me, Lionsgate called. When you were on the phone with my husband, you said, I agree with Monique. I agree with the position she's taking. But? But when it came time to say it out loud, Oprah Winfrey went totally silent. So that is just a small sample of a long conversation that Monique had. She also touched on the pay disparity in Hollywood and how Taraji P. Henson was treated and the response to what Taraji P. Henson said compared to the response of what she said. A lot of context behind that. She has talked about before she feels like no one listens. However, a lot of people were listening yesterday. More than three million people tuned into that podcast already in the first 24 hours. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I watched it in full I, yesterday. I, too, I could yeah. not look at it. And, and Monique, I want to get you on this because in that interview, she did say that she felt like she was treated differently than mm -hmm. Taraji when she talked about the pay disparity because she she's a larger black woman oh. and also that her husband is fending for her as well she didn't she wasn't broken yeah. She wasn't crying. Do you agree? Yeah. You know, I feel like timing's everything. And right now, there's a shift happening. It's the age of truth. Mm -hmm. And I feel like everything is lining up right now for people to be more open to hear the truth. I think when she came forward back then, people weren't really buying it. You know, mm -hmm. and now they're seeing that the stories are being said the same exact way, more and more. And now they're starting to give her credit for what she said and what she was brave enough to do back then. So mm -hmm. I'm not necessarily you don't think it's sure. the messenger, but. Yeah, I don't think it's necessarily that. I just feel like people are more open to hearing what what's really going on now. Monique, I want to get your thoughts on this. Let's talk about healing a little bit. You mentioned it earlier. Yes. Um, I, I, I love Monique, and, and I think we all do, and we've watched her grow for so many years. Um, some people look at this and say, well, God, I mean, it, it, has she healed yet? Has she found peace in all of this? Uh, what, would, what would you say about her peace and healing process and mm. why it may be taking so long for her to kind of find peace, even without an apology? Yeah, I just feel like healing's not linear. I feel like she's going through the motions and she's getting it all out. And when you are being shut down as you're speaking your truth and you're not being heard, you're going to keep 
talking until you're heard. Yeah. And now she's finally being heard and everything that she's been saying for so long. I remember when she first came out publicly and started speaking out and I believed her. Yeah, you me know? too. I, did I too. really did. I really did. But you had so many people coming against her who were probably afraid to also speak up. But when you have a lot of people coming in numbers that are saying the same thing, now she can finally get to that point of healing. It's taken her so long because she wasn't being heard. Yeah. And I know what that feels like. It's being gradual. unheard. It, it's definitely, it's damaging. It's, mm. it's traumatic. And she also said too, Monique, that it wasn't just the word that hurt she suffered financially yes. she and her entire family because you had Oprah her words mm -hmm. Tyler uh, Lee Daniels blackballing her in, in the industry to the point no one wanted to work That's with right. Monique yes. because they said she was difficult to work with yeah so she wants the apology but she also wants to get paid she feels like to. she deserves mm -hmm. it. she definitely yeah. does she definitely does she's so talented and I, I love when she talked about how she didn't have to do any uh, she's like, I'm not auditioning mm -hmm. like you already know what she can do you know what yeah. she's worth and pay it, you know, give her give her, her props. I definitely give it to and her. props to Club Shay Shay. I mean, oh, everybody. I, mean, I was just stuff. about to say, is there anybody he cannot yeah. get? I think he's getting, he's almost getting the same guest that Oprah Winfrey yes, is getting absolutely. at the same time. absolutely. I, I love think it. There, there's something about him that allows you to just kind of exfoliate mm -hmm. and, fit and open up yourself and just say whatever it is. He asks really thoughtful questions. He does. Yep. And he does it in a way that, you know, is not intimidating. It's non-judgmental, yes. too. And non-judgmental. So, yeah. uh, He's crack, created crack. a safe space for people to Indeed. tell their truth. So, yeah. I love that. <laughs> All right, Chris. Hey, I got to get that phone, so why don't you guys take this next one? Okay, sounds good. Uh, live television. Let's <laughs> <laughs> we'll go back to Drake. We actually touched on this yesterday. Uh, he appears to be okay with making headlines. Uh, the rapper became a trending topic on X after an alleged inappropriate video of him leaked online. But he continued on with his day. The Hotline Bling performer continued to post on his Instagram story, per usual, sharing a photo of the inside of an airplane's cockpit and writing, Cashville, I'm home. He followed up with an image with a birthday tribute to his cousin Max. Drake hasn't directly addressed the draw dropping footage yet. Do you think maybe he was behind this? I, listen, I don't put it past any artist who puts, <laughs> a, who, le who quote unquote leaks yeah. an image of him. Uh, which p we don't know if it's him. We yeah, we, we don't know. That's true. So let's just say that. Uh, but I wouldn't be surprised if he is behind this because, I mean, he's back in the headlines. Stir up some controversy. Yeah. And, and look, it's the Super Bowl coming up. Maybe he has mm -hmm. a Super Bowl. Something. I mean, something's coming out of this yeah. that he's getting some, some fame from. Interesting right? that he was also taking pictures in the cockpit. Yeah. You know, <laughs> right. there you go. Yeah, I, I caught that as well. Thank you well, so much for joining yes, us, buddy.